because they love to hear me like pretend to vomit. They love fake oh vomit my sounds. God, what? What? They love it. They love to see somebody like you, pretending very theatrically you, to throw up all over the place. You do make fake vomit noises a lot. I do. Uh, yeah. They just love it when adults like actually engage with them. That's true. Yeah. Mm, yeah. No dogs in sight. Oh, excellent. Oh, okay. I guess we're going to just immediately get into the jukebox. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We got the, we got the jukebox fever. Jukebox fever driving me crazy. That's not how it goes. I got Pac-Man fever. Uh, <laughs> driving me mad. <laughs> I, I fucking love the album. Go like, wait, finish watching our video and then go and look up Pac-Man fever. And, um, and the accompanying uh, other songs. Oh, yeah, and, and by the way, I don't mean the game. I mean, like, the album. The album. Yes. Fever. Uh, okay, then. Back to work. Welcome to Valha- Oh, hey there, Alma. Uh, uh... God, what was Alma's voice? I think I- I think- I think it was just a higher voice. Um... Uh... She seems down. Maybe there's something I can give her to cheer her up? She uh, might like classy drinks, but what she really likes... Fuck, what does Alma really like? Is it a big old beer? Fuck. Oh no, don't look it up, Mal. I'm not looking it up. I'm doing something completely different on my phone. What are you doing on your phone over there? Like, is it just sugary? Does she just like sugary drinks? Or is it a beer? Damn it. I don't, I'm, I mean, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna, um. Gonna guess over there? Yeah, I think I'm gonna guess. <laughs> Cause, uh, damn it! Now I want to cheat. Cause I want Alma to feel better. Um, um. Well, let's let's scroll through all the drinks and I'll like see if I can. Oh, uh, we passed it. Uh, this is no, Mal. This no, is... no. That, oh, Mal, this is stupid. My my senses yeah, are right. telling thanks, me that it's thanks this to one. It. Thanks, Spider Boy. Hey. Okay. You know my joke only sounds stupid because you're being so mean to it. I don't. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not making better jokes. We just talked about this last episode, <laughs> how we, like, go from street to street saying, please listen to our jokes. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Shaking our little bucket full of coins. Hey! Oh. Hmm? And this? It's on me. Drink, so you at least change your expression. Why not just say you're worried about me? You got the message anyway, didn't you? I'm afraid to be in touch with my feelings, obviously. <laughs> so, how is it? A brand teeny. So you do pay attention to what I ask for. Yeah. You have quite the fixation with brand teenies. We noticed that. <laughs> to be honest, they suit you. Hey, want to hear a silly story? Always. When I turned 21, Always. yeah, my dad and I went to a bar to celebrate, just him and I. He told me to dress well enough that he looked like my uh, sugar daddy. That's creepy. It was a fun night. We pretended at times we were uh, dating. I managed to blow off some steam about my mom, but the highlight was him ordering a Brantini for me. I've had plenty of drinks and gotten wasted many times since I was 15, but that drink was different. It wasn't about getting drunk. The drink itself was the pleasure. He too said they sued me somehow. Oh? Ever since that day, he's called me Brantini Girl from time to time. Your dad sounds like a... Creepy guy. Yeah. You should meet him sometime. So, why are you deflating? Deflating? When I got sad and started sighing repeatedly... My grandpa would warn me that I would start deflating like an old tire if I kept it up. Oh, God. Oh. So, what is it? What is the news about people dressing in bunny suits after the whole Alice Rabbit boom? Uh, nah, that's old news. I mean, it is a problem, but such a thing would only annoy me. Say, Jill, how's your mood right now? I want to ruin it by blowing off all my stored steam. Silly Alma, I've been feeling like utter shit the last couple of days. You can't make me feel worse. So, go ahead. Unwind all your worries on me. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, so, remember my sister Diana? The one that separated from her husband and forgot her kids while fucking her way around or something? Perfect summary. I'll use it next time. I didn't tell you the whole story then. 
More specifically, that she threw her husband out after months of abuse. Oh. However, that woman is incapable of getting a job and maintaining herself. And I mean that. She never even thinks about selling some stuff or trying to earn her bread. She just expects a guy to do all that for her. I have no idea why she turned out like that. Both mom, my mom and dad were hard workers. They even started a small shop to have something to do after retirement. Huh. So, was this fully capable woman due a couple of weeks later? Why well, bring her abusive husband back, of course. Well, okay, to be fair, there's like... Like, it's really difficult to leave, like, your abusive ex, yeah. like, particularly if, like, you're married and shit. So, uh, I'm sure we're probably going to get to that in just a second here, but... I know. The wording definitely made me think that she was the one abusing him and that she threw him out. Right, but that's not the case. Yeah. Right. What? Yeah, and the guy spent a couple of days with her before leaving her again. He had a nice couple of hot, steamy nights and then left. I... I... Well, huh, you reacted like my little brother and sister after hearing that. But the story doesn't end there. Oh no. Oh, so she's broke and can't even get enough for a bus. Even though she'd probably be glad to sell her ass just to get money. And it was up, it was up to me to pick her up. For the last couple of days, she left her kids with my parents. And being such sweet angels, they've made a mess out of the whole place. Bernardo and Eva are, or Ava probably, are actually staying with me a couple of days to give him some peace. It doesn't help that I never got along with Diana. So we're in the car, and she asks how her kids are. And of course, after all the built-up tension, I just exploded. First, I started ranting about how her kids are growing up seeing some messed up stuff. I start scolding her about not taking responsibility, about not taking proper care of her children. I tell her that she's in no place to have all those escapades. And after all that, she just says, What the hell do you know? You don't have any kids. Uh. Yeah, you slutty skank. I don't have kids, but I'm not broke just because I refuse to take a job. Oh, Alma. I don't have kids, but I'm not leaving them in the first barely familiar house I find. I don't have kids, but I'm not laying the guy that hit me on a regular basis back into my bed. I don't have kids, but I pretty much raised Ava and Bernardo, and they've turned out pretty damn well. I don't have any kids, but I'm not a cheap whore! Wow, damn, we haven't gotten a cutaway like this. Mm -hmm. ah! Damn. I don't know what to say. <sighs> There's nothing to say. I love my family, and I put them above all else. But Diana is seriously pushing the boundaries of what I can allow. Any way I could help? Yeah, you just did. Eh? I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not one to let stuff like that get to me. I'm still angry as hell, though. I couldn't just discuss this with any of my family members. I can't tell my mom your daughter is a slut. Oh my god, Alma. Jesus Christ. I... Oh, I just need to get off all this, all this off my chest, you know? Well, from what I see, there's still a lot more to get off your chest. Swollen as fuck. Nah, all you see here is filled with love and dreams. Is everyone in your family is... Ugh. Jill, <laughs> why so much talk about boobs in this game? Why is everybody constantly commenting on each other's chests? I don't know, I can only assume it was written by a guy. Is everyone in your family as busty as you? The worst offender is my dad, actually. He's got giant tits. Kidding, kidding. I mean, that's... What a funny joke. I mean, that's sometimes a thing. Yes, um. I know. <sighs> Alma, you were the chosen one. I shipped you. <laughs> I mean, I still do. Damn it. I mean, none of the characters in this game are perfect by any means. I mean, right. Like, you shouldn't... I think it's boring to write perfect characters. Well, but you could probably write people who are less creepy. Yeah, that's true. In general. I guess the only one that didn't get the big boobs gene, the big boobs gene, was Ava. Uh, Ava. She insists on getting surgery or, surgery or genetic treatment, but I tell her she's fine the way she is. These can actually be more of a hassle than a blessing. Yeah. And poor Bernardo. His breasts actually started growing when he was eight. I just hope I don't take too much from my mother's side of the family. My father's sisters still look quite young, but when menopause hit, my mom lost her looks rather quickly. 
Any good genes you got from your family, Jill? Good enough skin and hair, I guess. There's a thing about a shrimp allergy, but so far I haven't had problems with that. Oh, I see. Hey, you know what worries me the most about the whole Diana situation? How your nephews are turning out? If she leaves them with my mom, they'll turn out better than her. Somehow. Actually, what worries me is, what if I end up like that too? How so? If I find a good man and I sell down, what if he turns out shitty? What if I have a sudden burst where I want to live my life and end up like that? What if I have kids and I end up neglecting them because of all that? If you ask me, the fact that you're even worried about it is indication enough that you'll be fine. You think? I'm pretty sure. You said before that she pretty much married the guy after a couple of months, right? Yeah. No offense, but those are the kind of people who wouldn't even think about all that. Besides, if any guy ends up marrying you, it's because he passed your irrational standards. Hey! Am I lying? No. But there are things best kept as unspoken truths. <sighs> I wonder if I'll ever find a good guy. You won't. You will. <laughs> You'll know when the time comes. Oh, brutal. I sure hope so. For now, the time has come to get another drink. What can I get ya? Hmm. Give me something with ice, but alcoholic, please. All right. All right. Cold and with alcohol. I mean, I guess I, I guess that's just reading descriptions. Yep. On the rocks mixed. Uh, yes, I think. Carmatrine. On the rocks mixed. But but cold, right? Yeah, that's on the rocks. Oh. Because you know the ice, it'll like um, uh, it'll make it cold. Yeah, that's a good point. Like that's a. Um, I I don't know what I'm doing. That's that's my that's my understanding of how ice works. I don't know if you've got like some other information to bring to the table. I spend Tony. most of my days in a dazed confusion, improperly making drinks with too much. God, what 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 did I even not put in that? Oh, aged and mix, or and the one. Oh fuck! God damn it. Yeah. Okay, perfect. perfect. A bloom light. There you go. Thanks. I needed to cool down a bit. That's why I'm here. So you said you felt shitty the last couple of days? Why? Don't think too much about it. Oh, come on. You heard my problems. I want to help you too. Don't worry too much. God damn it, Jill. Right. I almost forgot to tell you something. What is it? My boss is throwing a mega Christmas party this Sunday. You want to come? Sure. Something tells me this mega Christmas is going to be a mess at my parents' home, so I'd rather avoid it. Are you guys getting chicken? I can get one. Hmm. To be honest, I wouldn't know. You can bring it in if you want. It won't go to waste. Gotcha. Hmm. Say, Jill, what's your favorite part of the chicken? Favorite part? I guess I like none of it because vegan. <laughs> oh, Jill's not vegan. I guess I Jill's like Jill's absolutely legs not the vegan. Most. Jill is one of the least vegan characters I we've seen so far. I just don't like to think about eating meat. Mal. It makes me feel achy. Okay, everyone, please don't listen to this like vegan propaganda. I'm vegan also, <laughs> and I love thinking about eating meat. No, you don't. <laughs> well, I, yeah. <laughs> really? I like breast better. Breasts are a bit too simple, don't you think? Legs have a better oh, texture. You can do it, Mal. Grit your teeth. Mm. Maybe, but simple is usually better. Breast is easier to enjoy than legs, and a lot less messy. Mm-hmm. You silly girls. I think that was more like, hmm, <laughs> Oh, I see. Boss? You're there talking about breasts and legs when everyone knows the best part are the wings. Boss, what's that? Spicy chicken wings. Where did you get spicy chicken wings? From a spicy chicken. You know, spicy chicken, the shop two blocks from here. Sorry, let me rephrase that. Why are you carrying a bucket of spicy chicken <laughs> wings? Why aren't you carrying a bucket of spicy chicken wings? Well, because I'm working? Thought as much. Yo, Armitage. Alma. I know what I said. Will the chicken you're talking about be cooked already? You might need to heat it up, but it'd be cooked otherwise. Great, I expect you here Sunday at 8 p.m. Thanks. 
Anyways, I'll be back to my office. Ugh. She left the bucket. Want some? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Oh, mild spice. Nice. Weird. Maybe she got a mixed up order and that's why she left them here. She usually orders stronger stuff. I found buckets that make my throat itch just from being near them. Dana got you get better bucket chicken wings, Jill. Oh. Hmm. Say, Jill, what kind of guys do you like? None of them. That's a sudden question. I'm not too picky with guys, to be honest. I want them to be decent enough. I also don't want to date them. Mal, Mal, <laughs> not look, jealous. Mal, I know I'm I, editorializing my Jill a lot today. Also, 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 Jill is bi. Like she's clearly bi. All right, clearly bi. Not jealous. Not aggressive. Responsible enough to keep a job. I mean, those are all good. That's no good. <laughs> Do you like them buff? <laughs> what about tall? Hmm. No tattoos or piercings, I guess. Never liked either. What about you? I like them well-dressed. If they go out in iron shirts and well-coordinated clothes, they're sure to catch my eye. Some muscle is always fine, too. But sharply, sharply dressed males catch my attention faster. And yet you're still single. That's how I like my men. My potential husband, on the other hand, is another matter completely. I see. So, can you get me a drink here? The spicy wings turned out to be spicy. What do I get ya? Anything, as long as it helps me with the spiciness in my mouth. Okay. Huh. Let's give her something to help her get over the spiciness of the wings. Well, do we have something with milk in it? <sighs> I don't think so. Uh, mm. Let's go by bitter. Like, what would counteract spicy? Sweet? I think sweet or bubbly? Let's try sweet though. Let's try sweet. I think something maybe like a fluffy dream or, or something like dream. that. Do we have but, a fluffy uh, dream? No, let's just let's look at sugar rush. Alright. Okay, so sweet, sweet light, light, and fruity. fruity. Okay, then there's Sparkle Star, which is sweet girly happy. Mm-hmm. And then we got blue fairy, sweet girly soft, sweet girly happy, sweet classy happy, and piano woman sweet promo happy. I wonder. I wonder if there's something in a description somewhere. All right, all right, all right. All right yeah, let's, let's start go. from let's, the beginning. Let's go take a look. Sour, classy, vintage, beer. Uh, 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 necessarily brown. Uh, turn. turn your teeth blue. That's kind of gross. Yeah. I don't, I don't want blue teeth. I've decided mm -hmm. just now. Okay, so let's see here. A bunch of bullshit. Maybe ooh, ooh, fluffy dream. You called this out earlier. Yeah. Sour? That'll work. Okay. That's a different yeah, flavor. Let's yeah. Do it. Okay. Yeah, this is not gonna work, and it's not the correct one. But that's okay. <gasps> what? But you believed in me, and then you stopped immediately. No, I mean, no. Don't get me wrong. I believe in you more than any other thing I would have come up with. So. This might help. Uh. Whew. Yep, it did. Thanks. All right. So, next question. What kind of girl do you like? Oh, thank God. Oh, mm. Jesus. Mm-hmm. You first. Sorry, I don't swing that way. No! Sure, I have no qualms about saying a girl is cute or cool, but... No, nope, I prefer men in my bed. Uh, now you. I will go down with this ship. <laughs> Shit, just calm down. I... I guess I like girls with light colored hair. Light colored hair? Y yeah, you know, like redheads and such. What about white? Like your boss? You were just setting me up for that comment, weren't you? Sorry. It's just that when she got here with the bucket of wings, your eyes pretty much started sparkling. Your whole behavior transformed. You became giddy and cheerful all of a sudden. Mm. Hey, I can't blame you. She's pretty nice. I just felt like teasing you. I mean, the Dana Jill is also a pretty good ship. Yeah, I know. I, I, I do. I will go with the Dana Jill very yeah. much so. Yeah, we will transfer over to that uh -huh. boat, that uh -huh. rescue boat. Yes, I will <laughs> fucking we will. fire myself out of the cannon uh, from are this we? ship uh, as it sinks onto the other ship. So light colored hair. What about blondes? Do you like me? Yeah, yes. 
Let's say I'm into girls too and I start hitting on you. Would you go along with it? Nice body, pretty face, and a good apartment. I would never let you go. <laughs> okay then, enough tangents. Why don't you tell me why you were feeling shitty these last days? Jill is like, damn it. <laughs> what? Oh, that. I told you not to think too much about it. And I told you I want to know. Come on, Jill. You've heard my problems so many times. Now I want to help you. But I like to bottle all of my emotions, Alma. Come on, come here. Eh? I told you to sit here. Come on. Uh, eh? What? what? <gasps> it's Jill! Ah! <laughs> what are you... Ah! It's Jill! This is so exciting. I don't know why. Because we haven't fucking seen Jill before. Well, Aside from in her apartment when she's much smaller. And, and in the and, art and, and and that we've seen. Shut up. Not in the gameplay. All right, now. All right, then. Now I'm the bartender and you're the client. Hardly. The bartending station only works with me. I see. Okay, then. I move this here. Click. Oh! <laughs> now it works for you, for me, and that dog in a Hawaiian shirt. Why with him, too? He's a dog in a fucking Hawaiian shirt. Right. And how did you even manage to... Oh, yeah. Hacker. Right. Now we've changed roles. You've been feeling shitty. Mind telling me why? It's a long story. I don't even know where to start. This is so cute. I love it. Start from the beginning. Uh, okay, then. Something that goes back to my college years. Whoa, that's taking it way back. Back in compulsory education. I never made too much of an effort, but I managed to get high grades. Even in PE, I managed to do well enough to always get perfect grades. And then, of course, when I got to college, shit started getting hard. I had this perfectionist streak that wouldn't let me fail anything. Burning my eyelashes studying, I eventually managed to keep up good grades. After about half the career, I met a student teacher. Her name was Lenore. Oh. She helped me a lot with my studies. She even got me into stuff that gave more credits. I really liked her, and after some time, I found out she liked me, too. Oh, ho, ho. We started going out, met all of her family, even, and... You want a drink? What? A drink. Around this time, there's usually a pause that makes you offer a drink to the client. There was no such pause. Please, I want to test this whole bartending interface. <sighs> a sugar rush, then. You can't mess that up. Right. Oh, <laughs> Jill asked for a sugar rush. Now, how did this thing work again? I love it. I'm dying over here. You're all my right now instead of Jill. I, I don't know why, but this is exactly so much what treat. I wanted. Oh all mixed. My no, God. don't make Jill too drunk. She's working. Oh, my God. I love this so much. I can't stop. Okay, I need to... I need to calm Not the blended. Oh, shit. Sorry. I almost fucked up that sugar rush. Here. Thanks. How is it? Like I said, you can't mess up a sugar rush. Hmm. I have this gut feeling that with your body, you'd make a better bartender than me. You're selling yourself too short. You're cute, you know? People don't go to bars for cuteness, though. You've obviously never been to a cat bar, then. Besides, my boobs can be a hassle when trying to move around this kind of stuff. So keep telling the story. <sighs> well, as the career went on and on, it got harder and harder. Last year and a half of it became nothing but study session after study session, investigations, my thesis. When the graduation ceremony came, I had to make a speech and suddenly, while reading said speech, I almost had a panic attack. Oh, fear of public speaking? I realized I lost about a year and a half of my life. I tried to remember if I did anything fun at all, but all I could remember was studying and investigating new topics. I didn't even enjoy doing all that. So I was just standing there and the satisfaction of graduating was minimal. 
I realized I had only gone through the motions day after day, from high school to graduating. I, I felt like whole years of my life had slipped through my fingers. I never stopped to think if I enjoyed what I was doing. In fact, I never stopped. But at that point, I stopped and realized I needed a breather or something. Did I even like that career? It was all terrifying as hell. I needed all of my strength to not start running like a panicked mess. Hmm. <sighs> so a couple of months later, I get an offer to start working at this big research facility. Lenore was ecstatic. She was so proud of me back then. Aww. But I was just scared. Aww. That would be my job. I'd spend my life expanding on what I did during that year and a half. What if I had a sudden realization like the one I had at graduation, but when I turned 40? I didn't know what to do, but I sure as hell wasn't taking that offer. I told Lenore, and she freaked out. She confessed that she was jealous because she never got such a chance. Things devolved pretty quickly. She said one too many things. I said one too many things. In the end, I just stormed out of her house. And I broke a vase in the process. After that, I never spoke to her again. Damn. I'm sorry. I suddenly feel bad for pushing me to tell you all that. Why are you feeling shitty about that after all this time, though? Unless you've been feeling shitty for years. I have, but it's not just because of that. Huh? The other day, Lenore's sister, Gabrielle, came to this bar. Apparently, Lenore died last week. Oh. Localized nanomachine rejection. A heart attack. Apparently, she had it for a long time, but never told anyone. And coincidentally, it got worse after I left. And I just can't stop thinking about it. Wondering if me being there would have made a difference. And if it's true she had that for a long time, why didn't she tell me she was sick when we were together? I don't know, I just feel like all kinds of failure. Jill. And to make it worse, I also lashed out at Gabby. Yes, she was blaming me for her sister's death and all, but... She's just a kid, for fuck's sake. She lost the sister who pretty much raised her on her own. And to top it all off, I suddenly can't remember what stopped me from apologizing. Pride? Fear? A stupid effort to leave the most awesome person I loved as a thing of the past? Who cares? I lost my chance to apologize to her forever. Truly forever. I'm such a piece of shit. A selfish piece of shit. Oh, I honestly don't know what to say. I didn't expect the story to be this. I... Yo, boob tender. Uh, y yes? Can you give me a big beer here? Uh, c coming right up. <laughs> a big beer, big beer, big beer. What makes a beer big in this thing? Wow. Welcome back, Alma. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, y'all, if you wanna feel feel some more feels, you should join <laughs> us for the next episode of Ball Holla. Damn. Damn. Also, hey, we really appreciate you watching. Um if you haven't already, consider hitting the subscribe button. Um we also have a Patreon that you can check out in the end card. We think you're the greatest. The greatest that ever was. Yeah. Okay. Or bye. ever will be. Okay, bye everybody. Or uh, I've run out of tenses. Yeah, okay. Bye everybody.